Now, I bet you are wondering why there is a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Why there is a dildo strapped to the front of this lens? <clears throat> there is actually. <laughs> there's actually a very. I'm sorry. I can't take that. I gotta turn it off. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta turn it off. <clears throat> oh, okay. Professional. <clears throat> Professional. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there's actually a logical reason for this. Right now we've got a 128 millimeter uh, 3.5 Nikkor sitting on the front of a D7100, <laughs> and to that is taped a vibrating dildo. Now you're probably thinking, "Well, this is pure humor, and uh, you know there's nothing, uh, there can't be anything of value in this." Well, the re <laughs> the reason for it is that I am sick and tired of everybody talking about vibration reduction and like they can't live without it like a two-year-old baby that is still using a pacifier if you don't know how to use your camera without vibration reduction there's something wrong with you in the link below there is a test shot where I handhold this not tripod not monopod at one twentieth of a second with <laughs> With, the, with, the, with, the, with that vibrator going going full blast. Now, okay, on this 30-some-year-old lens without vibration reduction, and I, stra <laughs> I, stra I strap a dildo onto the front of the lens, if I can hand-hold and take a perfect shot at 1 20th of a second without a tripod, without a monopod, then you pussies out there... Okay? That think you need vibration reduction for everything. You're crazy. Now, vibration reduction comes in handy for some things in sports photography. It borders borderlines on necessity. Why make things hard on yourself? That would be your reasoning. And you would be correct on that. In a very few instances, that is the case. But that is no replacement for proper technique in learning how to properly hold your camera. I'm going to start making videos on that. I'm going to show you a shoulder hold position about in low light how to uh, properly shoulder balance your camera by using your shoulder as a third contact point for taking a smooth shot. Proper grip technique. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, <laughs> wondering, <laughs> wondering where I got the dildo from. Well, I was married for 10 years, okay, before my wife very slowly, very, very slowly died of a brain tumor. Okay, so it's not mine, so don't go there with that nonsense. Yeah, I know your next thought is probably, well, you didn't satisfy your wife then, right? Now, let's not go there, all right? Um, especially not about my dead wife. Uh, but the point, <laughs> the point of this humorous video is that I am so tired of everybody bitching and moaning about I need vibration reduction. <laughs> Shut the hell up! There are endless thousands of professional photographers like myself that were able to hand hold these old lenses on cameras for decades before vibration reduction existed, okay? So get your head out of your mat, your ass, and get your camera out of pussy mode, okay? Start sticking it in aperture priority and manual and start spot metering. I'm gonna start making videos. <laughs> start making videos about that. Okay, see right there? Yes, pussy mode. Shit, that's fast mode. Aperture priority. Manly mode. Get your camera out of pussy mode and stop relying on vibration reduction on your camera. Link below at 1 20th of a second. Hand holding, no tripod. Okay? Shooting inside the house. And, uh,. <laughs> that's, that's why there was a vibrator attached to the end of the lens. I thought I could be both humorous and informational at the same time. I'm sure that some people will actually think this uh, video is probably too grotesque, but uh, oh well. It's because I've had too much caffeine. By the way, this is a local drink that they make in Kentucky only. It's called A-Late One, and uh, 
It's uh, it kind of makes a Mountain Dew by comparison look tame as far as can caffeine contact. It's called AL81 because if you read it correctly instead of literally like AL81 means a late one. In other words, if you drink it, you'll stay up late. Get it? A late one. A late one. You drink it, you'll be twitching all night long from caffeine. <laughs> so, anyway, my point is. Stop being a gear whore and a pussy. Get your camera in a pussy mode. Start spot metering. Start learning how to use spot metering and exposing. Because I'm going to start doing videos on technique, on exposure, and uh, uh, technique of uh, techniques and shooting and whatnot. And, you know, because ultimately I have to migrate out of gear reviews because I've done so many gear reviews. Because your camera hates you. That's also part of another upcoming video. Your DSLR hates you. Why does it hate you? Because it wants to turn everything you shoot into flat gray sludge. And to be a, a professional photographer that is compositional skills and secondly master of light manipulation. Your camera the best camera in the world is a stupid piece of shit. It does not know what you're trying to expose for. It just wants to make everything nice and gray and flat. Everything perfectly illuminated. High dynamic range. If we can't fix it there, we'll fuck it in Photoshop. Um, you need to start learning about rim lighting. You know, your shots don't have to be buttery lit, and, buttery lit okay? My point on this was a point about vibration reduction. I hope I've made my point. I hope the point comes clear that you can actually shoot not only handheld, perfectly sharp shots at 1 20th of a second in my kitchen here, no less. And uh, on top of that, I stick a vibrating dildo on the end of the lens. And uh, I'll still get the shot. Okay? what distinguishes a professional. Not all the expensive fucking gear, but skills. He said, give me a Walmart Barbie camera and give me an amateur with a professional $5,000 DSLR and I will outshoot his ass, pound him into the dirt, and piss on his skull. So the point is developing skills and stop complaining. Well, that lens didn't have vibration reduction. That's why I didn't get the shot. <laughs> 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 Give me a break already, all right? Uh, time for some more caffeine. <laughs> time for some more caffeine, and uh, catch you later, all right?